We begin our morning at the Arkady Monastery. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful place, but with a tragic history. In 1866, nearly a thousand people were taking refuge here against Ottoman invaders. Rather than surrender, they made the ultimate sacrifice. They committed suicide. How did they do it? They blew themselves up with gunpowder. The Venetians left a lasting legacy following their conquest of Crete in the 13th century. In cities like Rathemanon are remnants of the Kingdom of Candia, as Crete was called when it was part of the Republic of Venice. Today we're going to see vestiges of Crete's Venetian past as we tour Rathemanon and a monastery with a tragic story. The Arcadi tragedy was among the first during the Cretan Revolution between 1866 and 1869. World leaders condemned the Ottomans, and the Arcadi event became a milestone in Greek history. It was viewed as a heroic act that changed the course of the war, and the Ottomans ultimately lost their stronghold on the island of Crete. The city of Rathemanon was founded during the Minoan times, but unlike Knossos, Rathemanon never became an important Minoan center. It was important, however, to the Republic of Venice. Rathemanon's old town, one of the best preserved in all of Crete, still echoes an aristocratic Venetian past in squares and along small streets that are utterly charming. So after exploring the town, I found this great little coffee shop restaurant called Rocky by Rocky. And I was fortunate to sit down with the owner and she told me how much she loved life in Crete. Well, you know what? I do too. Crete appeals to me for many reasons. Primary among them is that the island is such a rich destination when it comes to fruits and vegetables and natural products. I also enjoy the slow and relaxed lifestyle here where people take time to chat over a coffee or a glass of Rocky. My last stop was the Ruthemanon Fortress. I thought it would be a good idea to walk off some of the calories I'd consumed back at the restaurant. Though the Greek flag flies over the fortress, it was built, like most things here, by the Venetians in the 16th century. Similar to Ruthemanon's old town, the fortress is one of the best preserved fortresses in all of Crete, and I enjoyed exploring the grounds. I learned that there were once a lot of residential buildings inside the fortress, but that many were demolished after World War II as residents moved out. The Ottomans ruled the fortress from the 17th to the 20th centuries. They converted the cathedral into a mosque, and it's worth a step inside to admire its beauty. We're going to end our day at this beautiful seaside fortress. Now, whether you choose to spend your free time exploring the fortress or trying some local delicacies in the old town down below, I know you're going to love your time at the Arcadi Monastery and the city of Rathemanon. I'm Ralph Grizzle, and I'll see you in the next beautiful destination.